Fascinating. Now, I, I do have. Have you got? Have you got time for a couple more silly questions? Yeah. No. Um, how that's, many that's viruses? Are, how many viruses are there? In, how many types of viruses are there in the world? Uh, there are a lot of viruses in the world. In human, about three hundred different viruses are recognized. In other species, uh, different viruses are recognized as well. In bacteria, in fungi, in uh, algae, in uh, insects, plants, every single organism that you study has a lot of viruses. So it seems that viruses are the most abundant creatures on the on Earth, but we know very few of them. About four hundred, uh, four thousand viruses, four hundred twenty. Uh, uh, sorry, 4,000 viruses uh, are recognized by human, but we believe that they are very huge, both in terms of diversity and the amount, you know, the number. So, so, we're yeah. talk so we know about 4,000 types of virus. There could be millions of different types of virus. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. like humans have one set of viruses that can infect them. Dogs have another set of viruses that can affect them. Um, lizards have another set, um, plants have another set, bacteria have another set, fungi Everything. have another set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's like, and, and, and normally, normally, unless we have spillover of zoonotic infection, the viruses generally stick to their own particular species. So every cell type has got its own subset of thousands of different viruses that can infect it. This is it's just mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, the complexity of this ecosystem. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. some of them are useful. Some we use some of them for uh, good reasons. Some of them are uh, used as antibacteria. Fast therapy is a science. You know, when some resistance exists towards some antibiotics, microbiologists use bacterial fish to defend against yeah. some uh, pathogenic bacteria some yeah they might be useful even uh, so, in, so we, we uh, need to look we need to learn to use viruses as, as a species to our advantage that's true yeah so so if you go outside into a natural environment you take a handful of soil that's going to contain lots and lots of viral particles yeah more than uh, 10 to the power 11 viruses might exist in one gram of soil 10 to the 11 that, that, so that's a one with 11 noughts on the end yeah and this is everywhere all around the world yeah all around the world yeah everywhere yeah, yeah. and all these specific types for all the specific cell yeah. cell 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 types so so m mushrooms have their own type of viruses yeah definitely we know very few viruses the viruses that human uh, infect human and some animals and some insects but we don't know most absolutely most of them and uh, they are around us they can do a lot of things that we are not aware of them you know so the assumption is that all of these millions of types of viruses and untold number uh, untold numbers of individual viral particles are necessary for the functioning of the ecosystem that we enjoy yeah, yeah sure they can control the population of some insects some plants and they have some effects on the ecosystem like other organisms in the ecosystem yes. so they might be useful for us uh, and human pathogens are uh, the viruses that we mostly focused on them but there are a lot of them that might be useful you know mm. so, so the ecosystem on the earth is a lot more complicated than we thought <laughs> not only is the plants animals fungi and bacteria there's untold numbers of viruses that do things yeah. that some of the things we know about and i guess many of the things we we don't know about yeah sure now are the virus is in the sea as well is it, there's marine virus yes. the same amount of viruses uh tend to the power of uh, 11 exist in one milliliter of uh, yeah yeah in some some uh, oceans you know they're all around us and fortunately only a few of them can infect human yeah you know, yeah yeah almost 300 viruses can infect human yeah so That'd be really so the, the assumption is that without all this massive diversity of viruses the ecosystem would not be a functional ecosystem to support human life yeah sure definitely so we, we complain so. about pandemics but we actually need viruses 
Sure. Yeah, to control the population of other uh, organisms yeah. to yeah, make yeah. the ecosystem act normally, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, um, again, there's diff I know there's different theories on this, but where did all these billions of types of viruses come from? Uh, actually, we don't know, actually, the origin of viruses. <laughs> uh, some believe that they are the first form of living on Earth. The first form of uh, living produced from an RNA, and this RNA is a virus. Some believe that they are the deterior deteriorate form of intracellular parasites like Rickettsia, Mycoplasma, and other bacteria. And some believe that they are autonomous nucleic acids that come from our cells, living cells, and yeah. can yeah. propagate autonomously. And there are some bizarre theories that says uh, viruses came from other planets with some kind of... Yeah, the panspermia idea. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. I don't buy the one about coming from bacteria because there'd have to be billions of different types of bacteria yeah, sure. simplifying in, into viruses. And uh, yeah, yeah so some we viruses basically, might we basically have, don't know where they came from, but we do know that we do need them. Yeah, but some, uh, some viruses might uh, evolve differently, you know. Uh, there is a difference between viruses with DNA as genome and viruses with RNA as genome yeah. and the viruses yeah. that use both of them. We actually don't know the real origin, but the origin might be different. Yeah. We call them virus, they might be different organisms with different histories, you know. Could be completely different, yeah. yeah. But, but the genetic coding is the same between the RNA and the DNA viruses, the, 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 the codons. The, the genetic sequences code for pretty similar, generally amino, amino acids, so that they are related in some way, aren't they? All forms of, of uh, living uh, have these uh, genetic codons, you know. It is the, the meaning of codons uh, is almost similar from viruses to worms to insects to human, you know. So, so all, all life on Earth, whether it's a simple oh, RNA yeah. virus or, or us, is working on the yeah. same chemical yeah. genetic code principles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. But they have some uh, special things uh, for its for their own. You know, uh, most some viruses can use RNA as genome. It's uh, quite different from other uh, form of living. Uh, creatures on Earth, you know, like bacteria and uh, eukaryotic cells use DNA, but viruses can use RNA, can use RNA and DNA. Uh, some of the replication strategy for uh, all of them might be very different from each other. So we have to uh, study uh, every single viruses in a separate way to understand how they uh, replicate. They normally sometimes uh, uh, do their special things for themselves, you know, in terms of replication, propagation, and acting inside the cell. But in every in every case, all the viruses that we know about can only evolve and reproduce inside other living cells. Yes, yeah, sure. All all viruses. Yeah, yeah. They are obligative genetic parasites. Yes, yes. It's the only way that they can they can reproduce. Yeah, so, so that would kind of make it difficult to have a virus before we had the first cell, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, we've got a real problem there. Let's hope the evolutionary biologists are working on that. Now, now, the last question I've got is, is it true that there is viral genetic material inside my cells and your cells? Yeah, it's completely true. Uh, inside our genetic material, there are some kind of retroviruses that we call them human endogenous retroviruses. And the endogenous retroviruses exist in all eukaryotes. And if you consider them, sometimes uh, we assume that uh, about 10% of our genome uh, is uh, formed from that kind of materials, human endogenous retroviruses. And there are some genetic materials into our genome that are the deteriorate form of that viruses. We call them retrotransposons. And you, if you consider all them together, about 30% of our genome 
is produced from that kind of viruses. So they are, yeah, endogenous, endogenous mat genetic material in us. We don't know actually, are they uh, inserted into the genome or, of or progenitors or they are the genes that the viruses evolved from, you know? It's so I, I inherited a lot of viral DNA from my, my parents. Yeah. <laughs> now, do, 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 is this 30 percent of the genome, does this 30 percent of the genome code for structural proteins and does it code for functional proteins like enzymes? Do we know that? Yeah, sure, they do produce some enzymes, re reverse transcriptase enzyme that exists into our cells came from this genetic material, these viruses, and they act in our body. Many different biological roles for them has proposed. We don't know actually, they are re really mysterious. Some biological behavior, some, bi uh, some acts are related to the endogenous retroviruses. And I personally, I think when they exist in our genome, they have to do something for us. Uh, if it was, uh, if they were junk uh, during the evolution, they removed from our genome. So they are there to do something, and maybe if they didn't exist, we couldn't exist as well. Oh, weird. So, so, I mean, do, do we know if any of them are structural, are structural genes for structural proteins? Yes. Uh, some of them, yeah. My, my knowledge about them is, is not very much, yeah. but sometimes they produce even viruses. In some species of animals, it is shown that they can uh, come out from or oh, from the genome of the organism and produce viral particles. Some uh, disease is is, uh, is uh, assigned to them. Some biological activities is assigned to the, and uh, yeah, retrovirology and endogenous retrovirology is a uh, discipline in virology that many. Scientists in the world all are involved in the study with yeah. them, you know. So, 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 so vertebrate life is only yeah. here and only works because of the incorporation of viral yeah. infections, essentially, in the past. So we are part virus then. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. It's a strange, but it's true. Life is just so complicated and amazing, isn't it? It's so just and yet, and yet here we are alive and conscious and talking about it. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely crazy. <laughs> Besad, thank you very much for that. Um, fa fascinating talk. Um, 